Hello everyone, welcome to the Creative Cow for this new Pro Animator tutorial. My name is Serge Ahmad and I will be your host for this one. I have to say right away that this is not a beginner tutorial. I assume that you are familiar with the plugin or standalone version of the software. I would like to show you a relatively simple but very effective way of having an absolute control on the Pro Animator pivot point. As you see in these examples, being able to do so can really enhance your animation. So I'm using here the Pro Animator FX version for Final Cut Pro, but the principle is the same for all Pro Animator versions. I already applied Pro Animator to Color Solid and now I will import a 3D object that needs a pivot point. Let me first assign the main slate body to a different track and make the track invisible for now. This is now the section that needs to be animated. To be able to clap the slate, the pivot point would need to reside right here. For now, the pivot point for all objects on this track is set to the center of the boundary box of all objects. That's the way ProAnimator automatically sets the pivot point, so it should reside somewhere here. If we rotate now the objects around their common center, we can clearly see that. Ok, now here's the trick. Knowing that ProAnimator uses the center of the boundary box to create a pivot point, let us create our own one and this way force ProAnimator to set the pivot point exactly where we need it. We know that we need a pivot point right here. So generally I would start by creating a primitive object a sphere works great and using the manipulation tools I would place my primitive object right where I need it and name it Pivot. I would then make sure that it's in the same track than all other objects. This object will now become the new boundary box in a track. In this case I already created the pivot point, it's just invisible. So now let me scale the pivot point so it encompasses all other objects and becomes our new boundary box. This should do it. I select all objects including the pivot point. I create a new pose, select my transition and group all objects. Let's make the pivot point invisible. We can now make track 2 visible again. Let's also change to a front view. Now I go to the animation control and animate, in this case, the Z-axis. Et voilà, a perfectly animated pivot point. I hope this tutorial will help you animate your ProAnimator objects more accurately. And stay tuned for my next Creative Cow Advanced tutorial. 
it will be about pivot point again but this time using the invigorator pro version salut everyone